everybody. Welcome back to Daily Easy English Expression. Okay, so today's expression is really good. It means to persuade, to persuade somebody or to influence somebody. So check your dictionary in your language for persuade and influence. Okay, you can stop. I'll stop the video now and you check the definition. You understand the words, right? Okay, good. So today's expression means persuade or to influence, but I like this expression. It is try selling them on. Try sell him on. Try sell her on. Try sell them on. And the idea, give them this point to focus on and see if you can persuade them. Make those people look at this and make them buy the idea, believe the idea. Sell them this idea in order to persuade them. It's a really good expression. And if you are in business, if you are a negotiator, if you go to meetings where you want people to believe you, if you're in a relationship and you want to persuade your husband or wife to do something, this is a great expression. Try selling him on this. Try selling her on this. Try selling them on this. Check out the dialogue. How can we get kids to stop smoking? Well, don't try to sell them on cancer. Kids don't care. Then what? Mm, try selling them on the bad smell. Clothes, hair, cars, uh, and the person of their dreams might hate it. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. You know, kids, 15, 16, 17, younger, they don't care about cancer. Cancer, pff, whatever. What a, yeah, man, whatever. Cancer, huh, I'm a man. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, smoking. <laughs> if, you, if you tell kids, hey, if you smoke cigarettes, you're going to get cancer. They don't care. If you try selling them on cancer, in order to make them quit, they don't care. It's not going to work, usually. But what do kids care about? Kids care about boyfriends and girlfriends. Kids care about looking good and smelling good. So why don't you sell them on the idea that if you smoke, your breath smells like poop. And, and your hair and your clothes smell really bad and and if you go kiss somebody let's say you have a, a dream you know boyfriend girlfriend and you go to kiss that person you're gonna taste like poop and you know your relationship is nothing that might be a better way to persuade kids to quit smoking because it is true you have Yuck mouth. <laughs> That's another expression. Your breath tastes like crap. Your breath smells terrible. That might be a good way to get kids, to influence kids, to persuade kids to stop smoking. Try selling them on the bad smell. It's a good idea. So, you guys help me out. Um, I want you, I want people to sign up for my online classes. And people who sign up for the classes, 90% of the people stay. Some people go. You know, you can't make everybody happy. So, but, but help me. What, what can I do to influence people to sign up for my classes? What can I do to persuade people to sign up for my classes? What should I sell people on? Well, right now, I'm selling people on eight free lessons or for my listening class or three free lessons for my speaking class. Pretty good idea. Yeah. That, that's what I think. So I'm trying to persuade people by giving them eight lessons for free, by giving them three speaking lessons for free, and if they like it, then they can join. Is that a good idea? Do you think that's a good way to sell people on my classes? What's another idea? What's another idea? I have another problem, and maybe you can help me. My mom is uh, 
gosh, how old is she? I don't know. She's old, you know, up there. Not 70, but getting close, getting close to 70. And uh, she smokes. Um, she doesn't care about cancer. She's already, you know, like almost 70. So how can I sell my mom? What should I do to sell my mom on the idea that smoking is bad? What, what's an idea? For kids, we can sell them on the idea that smoking, you know, gives you bad breath and makes you stink. But what can, what can we tell an older person? I love my mom. I want her to be around a long time. But she loves smoking. She doesn't care. What can I do? What can I do? Any ideas? Do you have somebody maybe in your family who uh, is doing something unhealthy? Do you need some advice on persuading them to stop being unhealthy? You need ideas on what to sell them on. So leave your questions down below. And everybody else, let's give each other advice. I want my brother to stop uh, taking drugs. Can anybody help me? And then we can say, why don't you try selling him on the idea that drugs are expensive? I don't know, whatever. You guys, let's, let's help each other using this expression. It's a great expression. And by the way, join my classes. You can get all my podcasts, all my videos for free at www.letsmasterenglish.com. Do you want eight free lessons of DDM listening class or three free lessons of PERF, the speaking class? Then send us an email, dailydictationmembers at gmail.com, daily, D-A-I-L-Y, D-I-C-T-A-T-I-O-N, M-E-M-B-E-R-S, at gmail.com. It's so long. I need to make an easier, short uh, address. I know. Yeah, I'll do that one day. But anyway, yeah, send us an email. Boom. We'll send you the lessons. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a great day, and maybe I'll see you tomorrow. I need to rest, right? Yeah. Bye-bye. How can we get kids to stop smoking? Well... Don't try to sell them on cancer. Kids don't care. Then what? Mm, try selling them on the bad smell. Clothes, hair, cars, and the person of their dreams might hate it. How can we get kids to stop smoking? Well, don't try to sell them on cancer. Kids don't care. Then what? Mm, try selling them on the bad smell. Clothes, hair, cars, and the person of their dreams might hate it. How can we get kids to stop smoking? Well, don't try to sell them on cancer. Kids don't care. Then what? Mm, try selling them on the bad smell. Clothes, hair, cars, and the person of their dreams might hate it.